Prime back here again, and today I wanted to show you how to install BIOSes and ROMs on your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie Emulation Station. Now this should work on RetroPie version 2.6 and up. I'm on RetroPie version 3.6, which is the newer one that's out right now. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3. So first up, you're going to need your Raspberry Pi powered on connected to the same network as your computer is connected to. The computer you're using to install ROMs over network needs to be on the same exact network as your Raspberry Pi. So it's super simple. All you need to do is open up a finder window as long as everything's connected to the internet. You need to go right up here and type in backslash backslash retro pi all capital letters and hit enter. Now, as you can see, I'm in my RetroPie right now uh, on the Raspberry Pi. Now, there's four folders in here. As you can see, we got BIOS, configs, ROMs, and splash screens. So you can go ahead, if you want a new splash screen, you can go ahead and throw whatever you want in the splash screens. But today, I wanted to install a PlayStation 1 BIOS. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my BIOS folder. There's no PlayStation BIOS in here. So I have one right here. This is the scph1001.bin. You can find this online. Just do a quick PSX BIOS um, search on Google. And all you want to do is take it and drag it right into here. So it just transferred it to my SD card on my Raspberry Pi. No problem over network. As you can see, I'm on network. Now we're going to go back. We're going to go to our ROMs folder. Now this works just like the USB setup for installing ROMs. As you see here, we have all of our emulators that are accessible on the Raspberry Pi. And I want to go ahead and install a PlayStation 1 ROM. So I'm going to go to my PSX. Now I've installed one already. I have a few others. Just open this up and let's go ahead and do Tekken 3. Now while that installs, it actually installs pretty quick over your network, depending on how fast your router is. But that's it for installing your ROMs and BIOSes. Um, if you want to run Dreamcast, if you want to run Game Boy Advanced, if you want to run Neo Geo or Amiga, you just take the corresponding BIOS and put it in the BIOS folder within your uh, Raspberry Pi. Now this is accessible over network only, I believe. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's the easy way to install your BIOSes. And my ROM is still installing here. As you can see, we're still uh, going with Tekken 3 to my PSX folder on my RetroPie. And now when you go back to your RetroPie, just reboot it one time and you'll have some PlayStation... Uh, one emulator ready to roll with a BIOS installed and everything, and you can play your PlayStation 1 games as much as you want. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section or send me a private message, and I'll get right back to you. If this helped you out at all, if you could, hit that like button and subscribe because i got a lot more coming. Thanks for watching. Okay, real quick before I cut this off, I just wanted to show you that the PlayStation emulator is installed now. As you can see, we don't have it listed. We just need to do a quick reboot. Press start, quit, restart system. Okay, so that just rebooted, and we're going to go ahead and scroll through, and I'll show you we have the PlayStation right here. The ROMs we just installed over network. So let's go ahead and start teching real quick. 
And in the bottom there where that yellow text was, if your BIOS was not installed or the incorrect BIOS, it would tell you that there is no PlayStation 1 BIOS installed. So you're ready to go. And this works with all emulators that you need a BIOS with, be it Neo Geo, Dreamcast, Game Boy Advanced, Amiga. There are a few others on here, but mainly uh, Dreamcast and PlayStation were my two uh, two favorite ones to play on this. So, Like I said before, thanks for watching.